A warm welcome to you, dear students. I am teacher Sharon De Silva, and in this video, I'll be teaching maths. We are going to learn about multiplication and division of integers in this chapter, that is chapter number two. So let us recall. I hope you remember what are integers, which you have done in previous class. Now, an integer is a whole number, not a fractional number, but an integer can be positive, negative or zero. Now, here you have the number line for reference. Zero in the middle, the positive integers or positive numbers on right hand side and negative numbers or negative integers on left hand side. I'm sure that you know that from numbers from 1 to and infinite from starting from 1 are called as natural numbers. When you include 0 in the set of natural numbers, you get whole numbers. And on left hand side, we have negative numbers. So together, the negative integers and whole numbers together are called as integers. A few examples of integers. You can have 16 minus 7. 2345 0 89 minus 179 negative integers you can call them as minus 1 or you can also call this number as negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 and so on here my dear students we are going to see a uh, in the previous class that is in Standard 6, you studied about addition and subtraction of integers. I hope that you do remember this. Suppose we have, there is no sign given to a number. That means that number is a positive integer. And negative integers are always written inside a bracket to identify that this negative sign is, goes along with this particular number. So we have... 8 plus 4 is equal to, this is pretty simple and easy. You know the answer, it's 12. 13 plus minus 7 and such. We know that two positive integers, when we add, the answer is positive. One positive, one negative. If the positive integer is greater, then our answer will be positive. If the negative integer is greater, then, an, uh, then our answer will have a negative sign and for subtraction both are positive the answer will be positive if we have one positive one negative then in this case what will happen when we open the bracket we get 90 minus and minus will become plus and we'll get 90 plus 16 now in this case minus 35 when we open the bracket this will become plus 6 so minus and plus, we are supposed to subtract and write the sign of the greater number. So you have the answers over here for your reference. Quickly, we'll go through this. The answer is 12. 13 plus minus 7. 6. 0 plus 25. 25. Minus 8 plus minus 9. Now here what will happen is plus and minus will get minus. And what we have is minus 8 minus 9. The sign of the greater number is minus. So our answer is going to have minus sign. So let's move on to next. Okay, now this is what we are going to study in this chapter, multiplication of integers. Now there is a particular example given in your textbook, which is this. Mayuri's bicycle got punctured on the way back from school and she did not have enough money to get it repaired. Sushant, Snehal and Kalpana lent her 5 rupees each. Thus, she borrowed 15 rupees altogether and got the bicycle repaired. Bino borrowed money or a debt 
using we show borrowed money or a debt using the minus sign that is mayuri had a debt of 15 rupees or mayuri had minus 15 rupees because she borrowed that money so here we can write that borrowed money as minus 5 for each person plus minus 5 plus minus 5 that is equal to minus 15 or we can also write this as minus 5 multiplied by 3 because minus 5 is given 3 times or thrice. This I can also reframe as 3 multiplied by minus 3, one and the same. Answer is minus 15. Of course, Mayuri paid her debt the next day. Now we have learned multiplication and division of whole numbers. We have even made tables to carry out multiplication. Now let us learn to multiply integers, that is multiplication of numbers in the set that includes negative numbers, positive numbers and zero. Now suppose another example, negative 3 plus negative 3 plus negative 3 plus negative 3. This addition is the addition of negative 3 taken 4 times. It equals negative 12. This, this can also be written as negative 3 multiplied by 4, which is equal to negative 12. Similarly, negative 5 multiplied by 6, the answer is negative 30. Negative 7 multiplied by 2, the answer is negative 14. And 8 multiplied by negative 7, the answer is 56. If you see, this is nothing but common multiplication with the negative sign. Now, let us make table of negative 4. Okay. So negative 4 multiplied by 0, any number multiplied by 0 is 0. Negative 4 multiplied by 1, 4 into 1 is 4 and add the negative sign. Similarly, negative 4 multiplied by 2, we know 4 into 2 is 8 and negative sign. 4 into 3 will be 12 and negative sign. Observe the pattern here. As the multiplier of negative 4 increases by 1, the product is reduced by 4. Now keeping the same pattern, if we extend the table upwards, decreasing the multiplier, this is what will we will get. Now negative 4 multiplied by 2, the answer is 8. Negative 4 multiplied by 1. Here we are going in increasing order. Here we are coming in decreasing order. So the answer is decreasing. Now similarly my dear students, you can form various tables for various numbers. Now I'll have a look over here. Negative 5 multiplied by negative 3. A little, you have to be a little bit careful over here. Now 5 into 3, you know 5 3s are 15. But minus into minus, your answer will be plus. I'll, I'll show you the rules a little later. Just have a look. Again 5 into 2, we are going in decreasing order. So 5 into 2 is 10 and minus into minus is plus. 5 into 1 is 5. Minus into minus is plus. And multi 5 minus 5 multiplied by 0 is 0. Now over here we have the multiplier does not have signs, negative sign. It has a positive sign. So we have minus 5 multiplied by 1. My answer is minus 5. Minus 5 multiplied by 2. The answer is minus 10. Minus 5 multiplied by 3, the answer is minus 15. And minus 5 multiplied by 4, the answer is minus 20. Similarly, you can do this for your reference. You can do it in your textbook with a pencil itself. In your textbook itself with a pencil. 
and this also. Now, this is ext of extreme importance. Now, what is this? These are rules of multiplication. Now, pay attention. The product of two positive integers is a positive integer. Means, one number is positive multiplied by another number which is positive. My answer will be positive. Next. The product of one positive and one negative integer is a negative integer. That means I have one positive, one negative. Then the answer will be negative. Negative positive, again the answer will be negative. And the third, the product of two negative integers is a positive integer that means i have one negative integer and another negative integer when i multiply these both my answer will be a positive integer or a positive number my dear students this particular these rules are of extreme importance with the help of these we will solve sums or that is how we will multiply various integers now before i move on to practice set a few instructions you need to maintain a notebook for maths and you will be solving all the sums which we are going to which we are going to see in the video in this particular notebook Okay, practice set 8. Question 1. Minus 5 multiplied by minus 7. I'm sure you know 5 multiplied by 7 is 35. And this is 1 negative integer and negative integer. Just now we discussed negative multiplied by negative. The answer will be positive. So my answer is positive 35. Second one. Negative 9 multiplied by 6. I have one negative integer and one positive integer. So my answer will have a negative sign because one negative and one positive, the answer is negative. And 9 multiplied by 6 is 54. Third one, 9 multiplied by minus 4. Again, positive multiplied by negative, the answer will be negative 36. Next one, 8 multiplied by minus 7, positive multiplied by negative, negative 56 is the answer. Next, negative 124 multiplied by negative 1, negative multiplied by negative, my answer will be positive 124. Next, Minus 12 multiplied by minus 7, negative multiplied by negative, again the answer is positive 84. Six, seventh one, negative 63 multiplied by negative 7, negative multiplied by negative, my answer will be positive 441. And eighth one, Negative 7 multiplied by 15, negative multiplied by positive, answer is negative 105. My dear students, if you need more time to solve a particular sum, you can pause the video anytime and then later continue. With this, we finish practice set 8 and this is all for now. We will meet in the next video. With the next concept that is division of integers. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.